if you want to get an opportunity from an individual that is currently doing better than you, then you need to know when to ask. You need the timing and you need to learn how to articulate yourself. You also need to know how you are coming off to that individual. You guys, this is more of a rant than anything else because I probably get 700 fucking DMs a month from video editors telling me that they can help me grow on TikTok and Instagram, telling me that my views are down and they could help me boost them up and they could help me improve. Yo, I'm telling you right now, you need to learn how to articulate yourself and you need to learn the timing on when to fucking ask. I'm about to call it an Instagram page right now. Not because I don't believe in them, but because I need to make an example of what not to do. So you, maybe you are one of these editors, start making better fucking moves. All right, I'm gonna pull up a page and I wanna throw some screenshots up for you guys to actually look at and pay attention to. This page is called Ideal Alpha. They sent me a message, all right? And I'm not gonna play homie's video because I don't actually wanna put his face in front of everybody here, all right? But they sent me a message and it was a video message where he proceeded to say, hey, love your content, love what you're doing, love the videos you're producing, love that you are getting in front of the camera and helping other people, but, and here's where the bullshit comes, I don't know if you have an editor, but I would love to edit for you because I feel like I could help your videos get way more views than what you're getting now. Pause. <laughs> Again, you gotta learn how to articulate yourself and you need to know the timing. You also need to know how you present yourself because as an individual with over 230,000 followers on Instagram alone, over 1.4 million on TikTok, building my entire account myself, you know what I'm going to do right away when I see this message? When I get that video, when I get that voice note, I'm going to go to your fucking page. So as you guys can see from the screenshot here, their page is actually decent. There are another one of these random motivational pages that just take other people's content and post it on theirs. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's what I'm seeing right away. But they told me that they could get me more views. They told me that with their editing, they could get me hired viewed videos, correct? Well, let's go to my page for a second, okay? Let's open up my page. I'm not saying that all of my videos do great, all right? I understand that the algorithm goes up and down. It's gonna show you different things. If you guys go to my page, all right, I'll take a couple screenshots of the most recent videos I have. All right, the last video I posted this morning has got 13,000 views. All right, 9,700, 14,000, 24,000, 15,000, 19, 13, 38, 46, 16. So it's ranging. Some videos do super great. Some videos don't do so great. Let's even take you over my TikTok, okay? Let's open up TikTok. Let's look at that. 1.4 million followers. Last two videos I posted, under 10,000 views. It happens. But then we go down 38,000, 19,000, 51,000, 100,000, 15,000, 32,000, 43,000, 13,000, 45,000, 283,000, 14,000, 26,000. So again, it ranges. I've been paying attention to the algorithm for a long fucking time. So again, bringing you back to this individual, he told me, Cole, I feel like I could get you better views. With my editing, with my services, I could get you better views. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to his fucking page and I'm gonna see what views his videos are pulling in. Let's see. He's got 9,600 followers, 1,400 views, 1,200 views, 637 views, 1,000 views, 1,200 views, 2,400 views, 1,000 views, 621 views, 800 views, 900 views. You see my fucking point right now? Listen, if you guys are watching this and you're not one of these editors, pay attention to what I'm about to say. Only listen to people that are living the life that you want to fucking live. If you get a DM from somebody like this on Instagram saying that they can help you do something, go audit them. Oh, you said you could get me followers? How many followers you got? 10? Shut the fuck up. Oh, you said you could help me get jacked? Are you jacked? No? Shut the fuck up. If you are a video auditor, or if you have a business online, understand that if you DM someone about a service that you could provide, you better have the proof to back it up. This video, this page, was just the fucking piece of hay, the straw that broke my back today. Because I get these DMs every single day. Every fucking day. Daniel, get in the camera right now. Come over here. All right, my video editor is literally right fucking here. This is the guy that helps me out with all my shit on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram. This guy. Do we need another person? No. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, unless you guys are pulling in millions of views, unless you're building a massive account, stop DMing people saying that you can do the same thing.
I get it. I do respect the grind. Okay. I like that you're trying, but change the approach, change the wording, change the timing. Instead of DMing a page saying that you can help them get better views, DM them saying, Hey, I'm a video editor and I'm really trying to catch a break. Like I would love to create some videos for you. See if you like them. All right. I just really want to do this for a living. Like I love doing video editing. I want to help someone out. That's going to get more attention and that's going to get you in the door more than DMing somebody being like, I can help you do better. And then I go to your page and your views are fucking shit or better yet. Don't ask me, go to my page, take a video, go to my YouTube, take a video, chop it up into little segments, then come to me and be like, Hey, I created these five shorts out of your last YouTube video. Let me know what you think. If you don't like them, it's all good. You can just throw them in the trash. If you do like them, they're all for free. Have them. Here you go. But I would love to help you more. I love your content. I love your message. I love your mission. And I just wanted to show you what I could do. That would go even farther because now I don't need to think you're not adding any work to my plate. You're also not interrupting my day. Stop inputting your fucking advice in places that it doesn't belong and make sure that you watch how you articulate yourself. Watch the timing of your message when you do reach out to somebody and watch how you present yourself to individuals that you are trying to get business from. Because again, if you DM an individual, a creator that's doing decent, doing well, and you're not doing anywhere near the level they are, you're going to get exposed real quick.